and it appeared to be wanting to go over my car. It was not what Brent Olson expected to see when he woke up at his home in Westford Sunday morning. A bull moose with a hoof on his car. I had run out in my shorts from the morning and started yelling at it saying, do not jump on my car, Mr. Moose. After chasing it away from his vehicle, Olson was intrigued by the up-close encounter with the moose. He grabbed his camcorder as it walked around his yard. A moose with ivy and its horns and stuff, I thought it was kind of cute. But the moose's behavior quickly became anything but cute. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. The 59-year-old ran for safety inside his home, leaving the camcorder outside. Apparently the moose wanted to go inside the home too. My roommate had gone into his bedroom and had his uh, 32 special rifle out and he said if it comes through the window he's going to defend the house. As Olsen and his roommate waited an hour for the nearest game warden to arrive, they say the moose charged the home four more times. It, it was very nerve wracking to hope that this thing is going to behave itself until the game warden gets here. I've never seen a moose act like that. After observing it for a period of time, a state game warden killed the moose, saying it exhibited signs of brain worm. The parasite causes odd behavior, like walking in tight circles. It can also make the animals off balance and cause their heads to tilt. Wardens say approaching wild animals is never a good idea. Well, we recommend that uh, people keep a safe distance from any wildlife, no matter what size it is. All wildlife can be dangerous, whether it's big or small. It's very sad to see such a healthy, beautiful animal suffer from, from something like this. A lesson that was up close and personal for Brent Olson. Matt Henson, Channel 3 News, Westford.